Despite Ethiopia's call for easing hostile rhetoric and amid rising tensions, Somalia President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed has accused Ethiopia of alleged attempts to annex Somali territories, stating that Somalia will employ legal and extra-legal means to defend its sovereignty. President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed stated that Ethiopia occupied Somali territories, an issue that remains unresolved and now dreams of annexing more. He further added that Somalia will not allow Ethiopia to forcefully reach the sea, reported Garo Online, citing state media. The president also said that Somalia will fight any plans by Ethiopia to access the sea, noting that the move would bring disharmony and undermine Somalia's sovereignty and territorial integrity. This statement comes days after Ethiopia's foreign minister, Ambassador Tay Atsuki Selassie, reiterated Ethiopia's unwavering commitment to peace, even in the face of hostile rhetoric from certain Somali officials. Ethiopia is open to dialogue, the foreign minister stated, but we require a respectful environment, free from provocative statements, to facilitate constructive negotiations. Tensions in the Horn of Africa have increased following the signing of a Memorandum of Understanding, MAO, on January 1, 2024 between Ethiopia and Somaliland, which grants Ethiopia access to the sea in exchange for its recognition of Somaliland. The situation has become more complex with reports that Egypt has sent military officers and heavy equipment to Somalia, with some sources suggesting that up to 10,000 Egyptian soldiers could be involved. On Sunday, MPs from Somalia's southwest state, which borders Ethiopia, issued a statement opposing the deal signed between the Somali and Egyptian presidents in Cairo two weeks ago, citing the lack of parliamentary approval. The members of parliament, in a statement read by Health and Nutrition Minister Abdirashid Mohamed Jili, warned that the agreement could lead to a dangerous situation. They argued that the deal could bring the Nile issue to Somalia and can lead to a war in the Horn of Africa, potentially impacting the people of the southwest state the most. Subsequently, the president of Somalia announced the dismissal of Special Envoy for Health and Nutrition Abdirashid Mohamed Jili without specifying the reason. Additionally, media reports indicate that Villa Somalia reportedly initiated a motion to strip parliamentary immunity from 25 MPs representing the southwest state in the federal parliament. These lawmakers are accused of backing protests in Huter and Wajid that supported Ethiopian troops' presence and opposed Egypt's military deployment to the country.